Hi, it's Caleb Booker. I'm here with uh, another review, this time a book review of The Ghost Hunter's Survival Guide by Michelle Ballinger. This is, this is a good piece of work. So The Ghost Hunter's Survival Guide in general is about working with um, the energy of a haunting. It uh, divides hauntings up into three general categories and talks about how to cope with each one. What it doesn't do is get into uh, using your ambient electrical measuring device, how to create a better EVP recording, how to build your own proton pack. You know, if you're a local member of the uh, Paranormal 101 group and, and you just want to go out on some ghost hunting and catch some cool ghost pictures, this is not the book for you. This book is aimed at people who are interested in working with their energy and with the energy of the haunting itself directly. One-on-one -on -one, uh, interaction. How to sense and feel and perceive more, and how to defend yourself against psychic attack, which does tend to happen if you've ever been on a ghost hunt and then the next day, for whatever reason, you're just angry and you can't figure out why. Uh, all this, this happens, and um, pardon my adjustment. And the book will address these things. So, basic things that are covered are uh, techniques for grounding, centering, and shielding. If you don't know what these things are and you're out there dealing with the spiritual realm, it's time to get this book. You can't be out there uh, doing haunting investigations and not know about shielding, not know about grounding. This damn camera. All right. Yes, it talks about those basic things. It also talks about how to cleanse a home uh, and covers all these different perspectives on it. A skeptic's perspective, a true believer's perspective. It covers religious aspects and completely non-religious general concept stuff. Uh, as much as possible, she wrote this book for the mass market, for anybody. You don't have to have bought in to a bunch of theory in order to use the techniques that are listed in this book. Protecting yourself, bringing up your energy, cleansing a home, and even a little bit about uh, psychic combat. This is a good book. Uh, you know, on a personal level, it echoed a lot of the experiences I've had in the past. Uh, it echoed a lot of the things I've done in the past that seemed to work, and now here it was in print. I was kind of excited to see that. There was zero content for the general group of people who uh, come in with their video recorders and their tape recorders and just want to get something on tape and, you know, go ghost hunting. If you're one of those people, you will not enjoy this. This is for people who want to deal with a haunting as if, you know, there are people involved and want to deal with a haunting on an emotional level for everyone's best benefit. So if that's what you're looking for, the Ghost Hunter Survival Guide is for you. You can find it on Amazon. It's been out of print for a little while, but really not a major barrier. It's easy to find copies. So look it up. Now, if there's a book that you would like me to review, no, a book or a course, lecture series, let me know. If you have a book or a course or a lecture series that you'd like me to review, let me know. I'm more than interested in hearing what you are interested in. All right, that's it. Thanks a lot, guys. See you next time.